Whoever guides his mouth and tongue keep his soul from troubles. Proverbs chapter 21 verses 23. Hello beautiful family. A very warm welcome back to the Lovey Starch Food channel. Thank you so much for coming so back. So today fam, I bring you a DIY of how to make your own homemade coconut cream and coconut oil. We'll be learning all the things that coconut oil, coconut milk and everything coconut has to offer. All right. So please stay tuned and let's do this together. So I'll be using four hard, strong coconut. <laughs> they are whole. I'm going to wash it first because I really like the coconut water, the fresh coconut water. So I'm going to wash it and then crack them open. Now, this is one part I see a lot of people struggle with. My husband actually taught me this. I was in your shoes at first. There is a pathing path on the coconut shell that you need to follow. And once you figure that out, just hit on those parting so hard many times and they will crack open themselves and you are going to find a whole coconut as you see on your screens. Okay, I hope you capture that all right so once i'm done cracking all the coconut up i'm going to rewash it again and then peel all the brown skin off because we do not need it So right now, all the peels have come off. They are absolutely great this stage. We are going to now chop the coconut into smaller pieces like so. And then we are going to blend it all up. We want it to be absolutely smooth. I am going to add about two cups of water to this and give it a fine, fine blend should also add that the sizes that you're going to cut them into really depends on your blender if you have a very strong blender like these ones you'll need to just cut it like this if not you can go ahead and grate it with your grater this is all about how much your blender can take or handle right <laughs> So right now that everything has been blended smoothly, I'm going to go ahead and extract all the milk from this end. That milk is so pure and white, just like snow. You can go ahead and store these even in your fridge as your coconut milk. So, so healthy and very great to have. Go ahead, squeeze it all out until you realize that you have been able to extract all the milk. For the second time, I'm going to use my cheesecloth, use some white cloth to just make sure that you don't have any part any particles in there. And I also like to squeeze out the rest of the fiber because there is so much milk left you can see for yourself it is so so important to squeeze everything out so there you have it our coconut milk is sitting pretty y'all it's so beautiful just like snow so white so good it is very beautiful but it's this is not what we are looking for this is mixed with all the water that we use to blend the coconut so we are going to put it on the counter for about 12 hours or just leave it overnight and there is going to be a separation which you're going to see 
very soon okay that being said please do not throw away your coconut flakes or the fiber this is good in your cake your bakeries and even candies don't play with it i'm going to go ahead and dry it and use it anytime that i want okay so overnight i left this and you can see all the separation going on here the water has settled at the bottom and we have our coconut cream and milk right on top but it is very very soft we cannot take it out like that so i'm going to put it in the fridge for about six hours so that it solidifies okay we want the cream super solid so that it will be very easy for us to take it out And as you can see, it was super easy for me to just get everything out. Just look at this. Amazing. So if you look closely at the button, you will realize that it has been fermented a little bit. And it has this, you know, strong fermented aroma. But do not worry. Just go ahead and discard the water. And tap it dry a little bit more. Make sure there is no trace of water in it. And just add it back to your containers we're trying to absorb all the water as much as we can here okay so i left it on the counter for about two to three hours yes because i'm trying to get the both the coconut oil and the coconut cream so i did not want the fermentation to be too much but if you are trying to retrieve just the oil then you can go ahead and leave it overnight as you'll be able to discard lots of the excess water as you right? can see it has really really fermented and the very top of it we have our coconut oil which is so beautiful <laughs> and our coconut cream is right at the bottom so this part i'm just going to break these and keep it in my fridge for any time that i need any form of coconut milk in fact my next recipe has co this coconut milk in there and i'll show you a very delicious rice recipe with this you're going to love it so 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 much just like that we are done with our coconut a lot cream. of recipes you can make this with to all my vegans out here you can use this actually as cheese you can also use it in all your diary free dishes and bakeries and all that good stuff it is so 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 delicious this is also very rich in vitamins and minerals so just like that we are done with our coconut cream now let's move on to the oil so for the oil i'm going to use the same pieces of this coconut cream i'm going to fry it or boil it until you will see the liquids no more all the liquid that you see here once you fry this for about 20 minutes please do it on a low to medium heat just so that you don't burn the whole process okay that's this there until you begin to see all this bubble forming on top and this is just telling you that the oil formation is happening okay so once you get lots of bubbles like that go ahead load the heat and just go ahead and so please repeat repeat as many times as you can and extract as many oil as you can all right so there you have it we are done with our coconut oil as so precious as this is it is so comforting and knowing that you made this at home just give yourself extra path on the shoulder <laughs> yes it might seem like a lot but trust me making this at home really 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 will cut your cost provided you have that time and energy okay. and yes studies has it that coconut oil is hands down the best oil that you can ever cook with it is super 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 nutritious and it has lots of benefits to the skin as well not only can you cook with this you can actually apply it on your skin on your hair oh my goodness it's just so so amazing i hope this helped and i hope you're going to give it this try thank you so much family for watching i really do appreciate your time please do not forget to give me a thumbs up as it took a lot of effort in this video
<laughs> and also if this is your first time here hello my name is lovia from lovey Statch. my main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home i also love to share kitchen related motivational videos like these so please come on board and subscribe to join the family for new amazing recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one